So in last video we talk about supervised and unsupervised reinforcement learning, right? So in supervised learning we talk about mainly classification. So classification requires some data, right? Data as an input so that it can generate some patterns out of it so that it can predict some output. Okay. So what is let's say we have a model, right? What is input to that model? Input to that model is nothing but data, right? So your data is available in many different formats so let us talk about a data format that is available while we train the model okay so there are different kind of model you can see in this video in this slide right so there's a data available in form of records there is data available in form of graphs and networks we have data in form of multimedia right so when we talk about facebook right so there's a different kind of a data set that we have we have a data set wherein we have graphs we have networks we have peoples connected to each other when we talk about facebook right even in kind of linkedin it is a data available in form of graph networks and when we talk about multimedia data then just take an example of a youtube right so youtube has a data which is available in the form of videos when we talk about google it has data available in form of text it has data available in form of uh, images right so there's a different kind of a data that is available to us but our today's session we will focus on this record record kind of a data so uh, mainly people who are uh, having the background of uh, databases right people who have worked with databases are already aware of what a record is right so a record is nothing but a row in the database right so let's talk about it and let's see an example of it so this is a kind of a record data that we're going to use initially we can also call this as an excel data right this is nothing but an excel data excel sheet data that we are having so let us talk about a different uh, kind of a naming conventions that we, we are going to use for the while training our model so as you can see that the first three columns are called nothing but features there are features that we are going to use to train our model and the last column is called as a label column so except last column all the columns are called as feature columns okay and feature columns also we have two different categories so first one is uh, categorical columns second one is continuous columns so continuous columns are nothing but numerical kind of a data they are having so taxable income a numerical data stock price a numerical data person salary a numerical data okay so they are called, called as continuous columns when we talk about categorical columns that is managed status that is divided into three different categories that is single valued and diverse right so there are different categories uh, that is uh, divided into that is why it is called as categorical data and the last column is nothing but the output column okay so whenever your machine learning model will output it will output the class column only that is nothing but a label okay so you can see that uh, the label is cheat the person has cheated or not so this uh, data wherein uh, the person files an idea and based on certain features we are going to predict whether the person cheats or not cheats okay so as you can see what is the label that we want we want a label as either person has cheated or not cheated while filing the idea so that is what we call as label and you can see that there are two labels over here so it is also called as binary binary classification we can say okay okay then that's all for this video thank you